Hello everybody. So for today, for training at home, we're going to go over reloading while injured. Now in this case, we're going to talk about if your weak hand is injured, or your weak arm, or your off hand or off arm is injured, um, and you still have uh, use of your primary arm, your, your strong arm. Now since we're training at home, this will of course be done safely and with dummy rounds, and uh, no, no live ammunition in any of the magazines. Now to begin with, here's the scenario course empty gun empty magazine but here's the scenario you're in a self-defense situation you're, you're in some sort of uh, fire situation and your left arm well if your weak arm or, or, or offhand gets injured somehow so what do you do when you run dry when you're out of ammo so what you've got is you're firing you're firing slide locks back you're out of ammo well you don't have access with your left hand so what you're going to do is you're going to drop the magazine, you're going to reholster your firearm with the slide locked back. You're going to reach across your body, grab your new source of ammunition, you're going to plug that right into the pistol, unholster, take the, take the rear sights, and rack them right off your holster. Now again, you've run dry, you're going to drop your magazine, you're going to reholster your pistol, you're going to reach across your body, grab your new source of ammunition, put it in your pistol, unholster, and with the rear sights, rack it off your holster. Now another way of doing this is from your knee. Same, same scenario, you've run dry, your, your left arm or your off hand is immobile, you're shooting, you're shooting, it goes empty, what do you do? Again, you drop the magazine, you reholster, or you can take your, your pistol and put it in the bend of your knee. Now once you have it in the bend of your knee, again you reach across, you put your new source of ammunition in, and then off the back of your boot, you rack the slide. Now those are just the basics to reloading while your offhand is injured. Uh, there's other ways to do it. There's other ways that people will teach other people, um, like taking your rear sight off of your belt itself, which I don't really much like because it's putting your muzzle a little bit too close to your body and leg for me. Um, I have seen people try to teach using the front sight for whatever odd reason. Uh, off the back of the off the back of the heel like that, and I've also seen people claim that it was all right to use the back of the chamber opening off the back of the boot or the, or off of your holster, and uh, I disagree with that as well because if, especially if you're doing it off your boot, you can shove a bunch of mud into your chamber. But like I said, those are the two basic ways. Um, Try them, practice them, hopefully you never need that skill, but uh, we're also going to run over how to do it uh, shooting weak handed, and if your primary or strong hand gets injured as well. That's all I got for you, thanks for listening.